am Kenny Brock here, and today we are going to be doing a special 10th movie anniversary video that is based on one of the most popular building toys. And it's, and it's the first theatrical release toy brick building movie based on the brand Lego that officially came to the big screen on February 7th, 2014. And it, inc and it includes the newer Lego characters that came out at the time. And that is the Lego movie. We have we have characters where we're introduced to Emmett, played by Chris Pratt, Lucy played by Elizabeth Banks, Batman played by Will Arnett. Lord Business, played by Will Ferrell, and, and Benny, played by Charlie Day, including Vitruvius, played by Morgan Freeman, and a few others. <clears throat> hmm. So, the Lego movie is about Vitruvius saying, he is coming, cover your butt, and then Vitruvius walks into the lair. And then and then and then and then President Business steals the missing relic called the Craggle. And then Vitruvius tells him about the prophecy. Then it goes over to eight years later. It switches over to eight and a half years later, I mean. Then we were introduced to Emmett where Emmett starts waking up, getting ready for the day, and then he heard President Business's speech. When and then when he heard the line, when Emmett heard the line saying, "Did he say put to sleep?" He was definitely concerned about what President Business might do. Then he did his whole. Then Emmett did his whole day at the construction site, singing, "Everything is awesome." And then after, and then after that, Emmett heard some sort of whoosh. Then he tells that lady, also knows the girl whose also name is Wild Style when they were first introduced, but her real name wasn't, but her real name wasn't revealed until towards the end of the movie where her real name is Lucy. So at so after that, Emmett, go, Emmett goes down to the hole, he touches the strange piece, then he gets the craggle cap, slash the piece of resistance on his back. Then he was sent to Bad Cops' chamber, Wild Style rescues Emmett, and then, and then, and then it goes into this chase scene where, where they had to outrun Bad Cop. And then they head for the tunnel saying this is, say, I mean, these are the city limits and saying that's against the instructions. When Emmett told the truth that he likes any chain restaurant, he likes where my pants and everything is awesome, they go into this portal. But, but, but in the theatrical release version of that scene, Bad Cop yells, Dar, dar, dirty, dar, when they die away. But when you watch it on Cartoon Network and Cartoon Network's Adult Swim, as well as Nickelodeon, they TV edit that scene for a reason, because they don't want kids repeating that. So after that, it goes to this Wild West scene where... Where Emmett and Lucy dress up as cowboys, Lucy tried to explain what President Business was doing to the Lego world, and then, and and then after she explained it, Emmett told Lucy about Taco Tuesday, and then Emmett says, "How scary can someone's offices be?" And then B President Business was figuring out his evil plans. Then he meets with Bad Cop of of Emmett getting away. 
Then he sends the micromanager in to, to craggle his parents. After that scene, it cuts to the scene where, where Emmett and Lucy go into the western bar and, and they meet up with Vitruvius and say, meet me upstairs in 10 seconds. Then they go, then they go upstairs through Emmett's mind and find out that Emmett has a glimpse of the man upstairs and telling that Emmett can become a great master builder. Emmett wasn't a master builder, Emmett wasn't really a master builder yet because, because he's the one that found the crowd cat. First, even though even though it really wanted to be Lucy, but the truth wasn't revealed until that part, which 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 comes later after that scene. They tried to do some training, but then Bad Cop found them, so they so they escaped the Wild West, land to Batman's Batmobile. They went past Middle Zealand. And then they go up to Cloud Cuckoo Land, where we get where we get introduced to Unikitty and all the other master builders. Then, then we were also introduced to Mel Beard when when Emmett was giving his motivational speech. It turned out to be a bad one. And then Bad Cop came and then destroyed Cop Cloud Cuckoo Land. And then, and then after that, they were in that submarine where the submarine ends up flooding. And, and then, and then the submarine explodes while the double decker couch saved them. When they were in Emmett's mind, they thought the double decker couch was pointless. But when the summer, but when the double decker couch stayed together, when the submarine ended up flooding, it turned out it really worked and it wasn't pointless after all. President Business captured all the master builders after Cloud Cuckoo Land got destroyed. Then the then 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 Emmett, Lucy, Vitruvius, Benny, and Unikitty and Batman. All went on Mel Beards' ship, and, and then after, and then he tells a speech of where where they should say where where all his new friends told him to follow the instructions. They ended up following the instructions of how to build the Octane delivery ship, but they needed a hyperdrive from the Star Wars characters. After, after, they did, after they tried doing Lord Business' plan to, to get the Kraggle to put, to, to put the piece of resistance onto the Kraggle, they were so close to saving the world. And there's that one scene where they talk to the robot singing, everything is awesome. After he went for the crowd of robots disguising themselves as robots. And that's where the truth that Wild Cells' real name was Lucy and how she wanted to be the special was revealed. Then Emmett was with Batman to try to save the world, but then they were caught by President Business and were hooked into the think tank. Then Emmett sacrifices him himself to save the rest. Vitruvius ended up getting hit by a coin and, and he died. So that's why he was turned into a ghost. All because of present business. And, and since and since things seemed like they were getting worse, the Kragle was in vain Bricksburg. After Emmett went to the real world and found out that Finn is the one that was playing with the Legos, 
Finn's dad played by Will Ferrell. Also known as the man upstairs. Found out what Finn was doing to the Legos. And they... And he says, I'll... I'll make things the way that they are supposed to be. Permanently. Mm -hmm. the, Lucy, Benny, and the others end up building... Building Benny's spaceship to, to bail against present businesses, micromanagers, including, including the invasion of Bricksburg. And, he, and Emmett sees the cat poster telling him to believe after Finn said, It's up to you, Emmett. Then Emmett went back into the Lego world. He built his construction robot to, to try to defeat present business. But then he was tackled on by micromanagers. Then Yuki turned into Angry Kitty. Then... then then Emmett went up to President Business's robot controller. Then Emmett tells the whole truth that you don't have to be the bad guy. And you are the most capable, capable person, most extraordinary person in the universe. And then after they put the cap, and after they put the piece of resistance cap on, to the craggle, also known as the crazy glue. The thing exploded, and they were all okay, and they all saved the day. They thought they saved the day until Finn's sister, Bianca, which we don't see until the second movie, came with Planet Duplo, and that's where the twist, and that would be, and that's where the twist ending is for Lego Movie. So, what do I think of Lego Movie? I think it's a really fun, enjoyable movie that's for all ages. It's a very, it's a very well made and very well realistic movie. Chris Pratt does a wonderful job at voicing Amit. Lucy does a wonderful job at voicing. I mean, what Elizabeth thinks is a wonderful job voicing Lucy. I enjoy every minute of it, including the song, Everything is Awesome. There's a lot of good, there's a lot of good funny and emotional scenes to it, too. And right here, I have my Emmett minifigure right here. This is my Emmett minifigure from the Lego sets I collected in 2014, right before this movie came out. And I saw that, and I saw this movie in theaters when I was 15, back, back in, back on February 8th, 2014. And I enjoy, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it the first time I saw this. I've seen this movie plenty of times, and it's still one of my favorite Lego films to this day. The second one is a good, decent movie, but not as good as this one. This will always be the best out of all the Lego movies. Here's the front. Here's the spine. Here's the back. I didn't put the 3D disc in here because, because it's in my binder. I just only want to show the DVD and the Blu-ray part. Here's the DVD. And here is the Blu-ray. So yeah, happy 10th anniversary to the Lego Movie. This is Kenny Brock here, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.